welcome back to another month of renovations. I'm excited about this month, if you couldn't tell. It is currently Saturday and Ollie has off all next week, so do I, I've taken it off and we're gonna get some shit done. <laughs> and I was so excited about it. So number one plan is to try and organize and get this house a little bit together. It's been probably one of the hardest things about living in a renovation is moving stuff from room to room. So originally when we came in, we obviously did the downstairs and we did put quite a few things upstairs. For example, this spare bed. And we've also got a load of, um, what do they call them? The really useful boxes here, a full tower of them, where we're now starting to store everything. And this master bedroom is gonna change and it's gonna be the room where we store things. So from about halfway, literally where this little, where is it, marker here is, we're gonna fill that with all of our, basically all of our possessions that we have. This side will still be my kind of like study area. That's what we're hoping anyway. We're starting upstairs and we've got a lot to get rid of. I.e. 101 cardboard boxes, which are going to be recycled. First up is this little area here. And then we want to hopefully clear this room, get rid of all of this, all of the other bits so that we can come and work in it. Goodbye, green carpet. It's finally on its way out. This is the moment for us. Goodbye. Not sad to see you go. It's still looking a little bit cluttered as we have a lot of bin bags up here, but the carpet is finally gone everywhere. And this room is definitely echoing clear. Ollie is just putting this one up on Gumtree. I was considering keeping it. Uh, but with how we're gonna have the rooms with the layout, unfortunately, it just doesn't work. It is quite broken, so I think we're just gonna put it up for free, see if anybody wants it. And yeah, it's finally looking like this room can be worked on. We can get here now and strip the wallpaper. Gonna be taking all these down now. That room hasn't changed. And in here, we have cleared out quite a lot so that at least we can get in. That still needs to be sorted through. And then I think Ollie and his dad might be taking down all this shelving and ripping it out on Tuesday when hopefully we've got some floor so that they can actually work in here. That was pretty terrible, dusty work. So I am pretty glad now that we are going down to the middle floor and we're removing everything from like our fifth bedroom, which I call the red room because it's in red wallpaper. And that's been our storage room, so where we put everything. And as I was saying earlier, that's now going in the living room. I think we're gonna have a well-deserved lunch break. Good morning, it's another day, and I'm coming to you from a room that I don't think, well, you'll have seen in the house store. A little bit. But um, not ever since. And it's probably, is this our smallest room? Yes. This is our smallest room, and it's where we have stored all of our stuff. The plan is to clear this all into the master bedroom and then we had Gramps round yesterday. This is where the tank is gonna go for the ball, blah, 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 boiler, probably right out to this wall. We need to investigate what is here, but that's probably a main beam for the house, isn't it? Hopefully. Ho hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that's supporting us. But yeah, and then we're gonna strip wallpaper and strip our lovely brown carpet. It is totally empty now. It's so nice to see this room empty again. And we did also have stuff in the wardrobes. These are bizarrely deep, big wardrobes. I think we're only gonna get half of this side out. And then we've got the same on this side. This side, for now, we think we might keep as a wardrobe and knock that bit out as a like desk or shelving space or something. Because we're hoping that maybe this might be temporarily a spare room for guests to come. Temporary spare room. We don't have a spare room right now. We have a lot of rooms, but none's there. 
<laughs> no, so once this is done, we're basically doing a lot of work to put the tank in here. So we might as well put our spare double bed in here. Obviously we'll like strip the wallpaper and make it nice and <laughs> air. Time to deconstruct. So you're on the camera that we can get dusty now. Oh, he's been waiting for this moment. <laughs> A lot of wood has come out of this room. Can't explain how much was in this unit here. I must admit, now that I'm seeing just how big the space is back here, I'm really tempted to pull this side of the wardrobe out, but we're not going to because I know it'll make more work. It's just not worth it, is it? So we're hoping that we can put an end panel on there as I said earlier, and make that into something for the room. And you won't believe there's a floorboard squeaking. This is all of the wood that came from that room. Okay, it doesn't actually look like that much there, but it's quite a lot. And that there, that there is just dust on there. Nice. Again now ripping some more bits out. You can see Ollie's had a little bit of a go with the skirting board here. We're gonna have to take it out anyway for the wall to come down. Uh, the pallets come off and we are just deliberating whether or not to take out this unit. We were gonna keep it. Now we're just going back and forth, aren't we? <laughs> Simply because we're gonna have to rip up this section of the flooring for the boiler to go down. And then we're wondering whether it's actually easier just to board the whole floor at the same time. This is going to be a bathroom. So we're going to sleep on it, aren't we? Yeah, have a think. Have a think on if it's worth taking it out or not and what we want to do. And in the meantime, head to our favourite room in the house. Dining room. They have the dining room. What, about, what do you think? It's getting quiet yet. <laughs> It's another day and we are on the top floor today. I didn't show you the dining room yesterday, I know. Um, we were just clearing it out and I will show you at some point. Um, this morning we have been out to get some bits of wood so that because we're living in the renovation we really need to keep it dust free. So the plan is, where well, Ollie's currently clearing, this section will have pretty much a dust guard in focus all over it so no dust should go down those stairs should should <laughs> and that is the aim of the game anyway and we'll have like a little door opening with a zip a dust guard thing on it we need to strip this wallpaper first though so that we can put that on and she's back to her favorite job this is probably the easiest wallpaper we have come across in this house <laughs> What's the light? <laughs> Things got a little bit messy again. The wallpaper is coming down, it's off of the ceiling. This bottom bit is a pain. It's got layers and layers like the downstairs hallway, but thankfully the top half is really easy to get up. And Ollie is just coming up the stairs with some more sheeting for this dust guard section, which he has been installing. The wall has now been finished and all sealed up. Zip down the little dust guard. So we are now ready to attack this room, pull off all the plaster, this wall, this wall, that bit, possibly 
the ceiling. I haven't quite decided on that bit yet. That one is an old stud wall, so nothing to come off there. But yeah, time to get a bit messy. now uh, made a really good start on this wall and all of that one's done roof bits off and the panel wall is starting to come down as well just got a few more bits to dig off here and awkward corner sections so yeah almost done and Laura's still de wallpapering so hot but not a single piece of wallpaper well, left <laughs> in the room. <laughs> this is the end one to go. Hands absolutely black. Yeah. Is the end of day three. We're definitely hitting a little bit of exhaustion now, but I can't believe how much we've done today. Ollie has ripped the bathroom to pieces. I've been doing a lot of de wallpapering. The walls so far are looking pretty good, aren't we? We're hoping yeah, good. that they'll just need to be skimmed, um, apart from any bits that we obviously want to put lighting in. But let me show you this room that I'm currently looking at. I love that we still have the lampshade up, but wowza. It's a mess, an absolute mess. Um, but I can't believe how quickly it's all kind of come to pieces. We are so ready for the window to go in now and hopefully we'll be able to move the locked hatch soon. Uh, we need to make a decision on whether we're keeping this ceiling. It has a few cracks on it so I'm not sure whether we'll be able to keep it. I just have one tiny bit of wallpaper to do in that section there of this bedroom and then this one is clear. And before I go in, I mean this one needs to be cleared first, but I also need some flooring in here before I start de-wallpapering in here, which I think will be tomorrow's job. Good morning guys, I am out of breath because I've just run up the stairs to get my gloves. Ollie's dad is actually helping us today. We are going to be clearing out the shed down the bottom of the garden. Well, the boys are, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing yet. I think we'll paper stripping again. But the previous owners left quite a lot of stuff in the shed, which needs to be cleared out. Then we need to double check that it is definitely watertight because the plan is to move all of our DIY stuff from the dining room out of the house into the end of the garden so that at some point, hopefully by Christmas, we can just forget about it. So hopefully I'll be able to show you a bit of that today and we'll paper stripping. First job though is to move all of this from the hallway because I think I'm going to need to wallpaper strip here. So I'm not sure you guys will have seen but way down the bottom of our garden we have our shed. Originally there were two sheds so this would have been one but as you can see it doesn't have a roof on it and this one here is the one that we're looking at today it's got my biking currently and also our bath which i hope to use one day and then all of this we've cleared out loads of wood from here this all needs to be knocked down we're going to knock down all of the wood here and all of these little bits and bobs on this side as well as this unit um, and just like a lot of plant pots and bits and stuff were left. Then we're going to doubly make sure, I mean, as you can kind of tell apart from our um, walking through this and making it wet, it is pretty much watertight in here, but some of the wood has rotten. So we need to get rid of all of the wood and just make sure it is watertight. We're going to get rid of all of the electrics because none of these are currently working. Yeah. It's not a very pretty place to work in. I've got to admit, this is worse than the house. We have just had lunch, so it's taken about midday to clear all of it, but we are totally, I don't know if it's gonna adjust in here now. We're totally clear. I mean, I know it still looks dreadful, but this, this is actually a vast improvement, isn't it? So much better. Um, compared to what it was. So we're just gonna get rid of 
this bit here, all of the boxes and everything, and then we're gonna jet wash it. So this part is gonna have a roof going into there, and then we're gonna fix up that roof too. It is about 5.30 now, and we are just finishing off. Sorry if I'm shaking a little bit, I'm literally exhausted, but it is totally clear. I mean, I know it kind of looks terrible, but this has taken a lot of clearing out. We have a lot of boxes full of stuff. This one feels so much brighter, obviously, because it currently has no roof. It's been a beautiful day, though. We've been lucky to be able to get this in. And it's going to be a much more usable space. We are probably going to do both of them now. I don't know if I told you that. And Ollie is just coming through now with the pressure washer. Now we're going to try and pressure wash some more of this dirt up just to get it as clean as possible. I mean, we really don't need to. We'll probably redo it a bit next spring. But we've got to finish the job. And pretty much this door is like ready for attack. It is massive, absolutely huge. I mean, I love them. It has kids hooks on it. Right, I'm gonna go because I'm just blabbering on because I'm exhausted. The wall is coming down today. Got the professional here. Gramps is with us. <laughs> And um, this is where we've got another dust guard up in the section of the house. And hopefully this is where the wall is going mm. to come down for our airing cupboard in this hallway. And we're going to take it all the way up to the top so that we get the most storage. So we'll have to do like a bespoke door with two little cupboards here and then two big doors here. Excited? Nervous. Nervous. <laughs> So great at updating you you can probably hear the washing machine going in the background um, we had a few days that just seemed absolutely crazy we ended up going down to the shed and I think I showed a few clips of that we took down the roof which I said about um, but it was just a lot longer than we expected I think three days of this week were taken up um, ripping down the shed and then basically putting back half the shed we still want to put the other side of the shed on uh, which we're hoping to do today because it's a lovely sunny day and then the other job that we did which I hadn't showed you my parents came for the day um, I'll show you now and they helped us out with the front garden and it had at least just there so much ivy and just I can't believe how overgrown it was I think I didn't quite see it because I saw the main big bushes but it was back back breaking work and I'm still exhausted from it. To any gardeners out there, I respect you. It is just quite serious work. Um, so anyway, let me show you my mud pit. Oh, it is looking so pretty. Basically, it is all gone. We desperately needed to get the shrubbery gone specifically from this area around here because we don't want any damp coming in. So they are totally gone. Well, they're totally gone everywhere, to be honest. But we still need to dig down this section and level it out. As you can see with the path, I'm not sure if you can quite see from this angle, but the garden itself is way higher. We've got loads of soil all over here. 
It's really not good for Victorian kind of houses because obviously you run anything seeping into the bay window. They're obviously notoriously bad for getting damp. So all of the plants have been ripped out, but we've had to halt on the garden for a little while because our skip arrives in, I think it's two weeks time. And we didn't quite appreciate how much soil we had to get rid of. We thought that we may be able to bag it up and keep it because it's good soil to put it in the back garden and use um, in time for pots and plants and things. But turns out we have quite a lot of it. So we're waiting for the skip so that we're not shoveling things to be reshoveling shuffling them at another point. If you can't tell, I'm pretty tired and kind of talking nonsense. Um, and we've cleared and tidied the dining room. Um, however, I've not really shown that, but I am updating. I've been quite good. At least I can say I've been good at updating on Instagram. I've been updating you guys every day. Um, and I think there will definitely be a few sneak peeks in there. So you guys will see the dining room, uh, which I won't show on this video. So make sure that you're following me over there because that only lasts 24 hours and it's not put on the internet forever. And I feel safe putting the dining room as it is on there right now. Um, but for today, I'm not 100% sure of the plan, apart from we're popping out to get some stuff at the shed, but I'll show you where we are for the shed. So I brought you down to the shed. We now have a different roof on, which hopefully I may have shown you it rained last night so you can see the rain. And yesterday afternoon we came in here and painted the walls and it has made such a difference. It's so bright in here and cheery. We did this little feature wall with the brick and yeah. Happy Ollie? Really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Very happy to have his shed area. We're also going to do the floor which is looking a bit of a mess now in a dark grey colour. So that still needs to be painted and cleaned out and then we can get everything from the dining room in here but it's a big area and then <laughs> this out here is our next project so it's same kind of thing roof has to go on to this side it's exactly the same roof and it's going to go into the same guttering and then we will paint the walls white tidy up the floor paint the floor and then we will have a door for it obviously that's secure um probably paint all of this gray and then we have a pretty big shed area so that we can finally store all our stuff, get it out of the house and live like normal people. I'm going to live down here, aren't I? <laughs> you can live down here if you like. I am just doing the dry fit for the tiles over here. Seems to be going okay, uh, apart from the moment I'm just using a scorer to do them. <laughs> These are all of the uh, misfit tiles. And um, we're gonna have to go to Grant's because he's got a proper tile cutter and pick that up because as you can see, I've just tried to do an angled one there and it just won't work on the tile cutter. I also need to do this one just here on the tile cutter. Hopefully that will make my job a little bit easier coming to these corners because I have got some awkward pieces to do. Obviously, usually you would have the fire totally off when you do something like this, but we're just doing kind of a semi-temporary job on this. I think that they look nice, so hopefully I can do a good job of it. Part of the job now I have just been knotting all of the skirting board um, I did that part whilst it was still on the wall which made it a little bit easier and then I need to do round two again in another two hours and we are in our terrible dining room so I'm trying not to show you too much the orange of the room is giving it a lovely warm glow but you can probably hear the rain it is pretty damp today we are fixing up our front door <laughs> at least making a lot of noise but um, some of you will know that we got this one dipped and I did get a few questions on dipped. It's basically just, um, they dip it in like a big vat of, vat of 
paint stripper. Acid. It's not acid, basically. It's something different, but it's. Yeah, to get all of the paint off and then we are fixing it up today so obviously we need to fill any holes, we have a few cracks and then also this was the bottom of the door which was, um, I think you can still see on this one, oh, if it will focus, it was rotten so we're fixing it up with a bit of oak um, and then hopefully we can just fill it and paint it and we might have it on. For this month. Oh, oh, I mean, come <laughs> on. We're nearly done with it. I've been sanding. Um, and actually, this has been probably the first job in a long time that I feel like it's not taken as long as yeah, I thought it would. It's going quicker. Quicker. Better than before. And October is already over. I feel like the last few months in the year always go so quickly for me, but I just thought I would jump on now and kind of round up October, show you some things that I didn't show on camera. When I watched some of the footage back the other day, I did kind of feel sad that I didn't pick up the camera quite enough this month, but hopefully I'll be able to run you through. I was much better at updating on my Instagram story, so I'll put up my Instagram, <coughs> oh, excuse me, here so that you guys can follow along in there. I was really proud of myself that I actually updated this month. And yeah, let me start with some things. Maybe I'll start with the elephant in the room over here, which is this sink unit. So you'll have to excuse all of the things on it. But basically, we had a little bit of bad news. Not really that bad, kind of expected it, but our work schedule got moved back a lot. Um, not from our end, um, but from the trade's end. So actually, the first job that we're supposed to be having done, which kind of leads on to all of the rest of them, is our boiler. And that's now not being done until the 16th of December. So it's pretty much slotted into the last week of the year, which is going to be fun because they're going to be here. I think it's about five days, so cutting it quite short for Christmas. Fingers crossed. We have some hot water for Christmas. Please keep all of your fingers crossed uh, that it goes ahead and it goes okay. Because I'm just, just a little bit anxious about that. But in the meantime, so I was hoping pretty much, as you guys know, to have most of the upstairs done. I'm totally okay with it not being done. I kind of just wanted to know either way. So we've decided to redo our bathroom that we've got on the middle floor, which you guys will have seen. We basically just painted it a whitey gray, took out the carpet, freshened it all up, gave it a deep clean. But now we want to do something a little bit nicer. We're thinking once we go upstairs, that bathroom will temporarily be a guest bathroom. So we want to make it a little bit nicer. And to round all of that up a little bit, that is why we currently have a sink in our living room. I picked this one up on Gumtree. Let me show you it. So this one was 40 pounds. It wasn't in great shape. I'll show you, I did take a video. It was pretty dirty inside, but as far as like it came with the taps and everything, sorry, all the stuff in it, but I just painted it up in this gray color. This is actually the one that we used for our kitchen cabinet. So it's kind of like consistent throughout the house. We had the paint, it was free, so that made it easier. Just kept the handles on and painted it fresh. So that's gonna go in the bathroom. The other big job I am currently looking at, but this was a bit of a like, I don't know, it wasn't easy to show and that's our front garden. So we've been worried about our front garden from the day that we moved in. It was extremely overgrown and it just, we knew that it had a lot of soil. It came up on our survey because um, if you guys have followed along right from the beginning, you'll know that our bay window had some damp, specifically like this area here was really, really bad. Um, it was all coming away. Our skirting board was rotten, which was why we had to get rid of it. So the garden had to be changed and it is a little bit sad in a way because we have just graveled it over. It looks so much fresher and cleaner and at the moment just bear with us because there aren't any plants out there and it's going to look better. It's not going to look as stark. We're not going to leave it like this. But the whole process was unbelievably backbreaking. Like I couldn't quite believe. So my parents came and helped basically hack out all the plants. And then we needed to try and level down the soil a little bit. Um, and just to give some kind of context, we had a 10 yard skip and we pretty much filled nearly three quarters of it, which you're not meant to. It's supposed to be a mixed skip, but the other little bit is mixed. Um, with soil we had literally so so much and we were planning on leveling the whole front garden but we had so much more soil than we expected we had to keep it kind of tiered so I'll turn you around and show you so it's looking a little sad as you can tell it's not been finished at all we haven't even leveled the gravel yet and obviously we need to cut off um, all of the membrane from underneath and then we're going to plant nice pots we're going to put a bin shed out there it's going to look a lot prettier I promise you um, but basically, 
it's come down a lot. We've actually filled this part a lot with gravel and we've also done a really good soak away, which we can see running down the side. We dug quite a big hole here <laughs> in the corner so that can soak away there, which was our main issue because our damp was coming in really badly just down here because all of the water from the house at the front was just dropping into the bay window, which obviously isn't great, but I'm hoping to put a matching bay tree on this side of the bay window and then also over here on the other side so once the plants were out we dug it down for days i mean it literally took days we were going for so long we did this little planter over here which i did want to do the whole way along but because of the soak away we couldn't do that instead i'm going to put two matching pots either side try and make it kind of symmetrical and just bear with me with this one because we're going to make it a lot prettier i also put some wet and forget i don't know if any of you guys have used that but the reviews were really amazing on all of our stonework uh, it can take up to six months to 12 months to work so we'll have to see how that turns out but i'm hoping all this stonework will change the same color as the gravel i promise it's going to look nice when it's done and we have some braid trees and some pretty things and i've even already bought some lights for outside for christmas very overexcited about getting it all decorated putting the wreath up Hopefully it will look a lot better than it is. And you'll have seen some clips of this, but I did finish off painting the fireplace and I did also grout all of the tiles. So this one is ready. I much, much prefer it to the big slate that was on there. And then our skirting board also did get put on and finished up over here. Really annoyingly, we do have some um, white marks, which wasn't from our painting on the floorboards. But I think when we sanded the floor, we thought that that would be underneath the skirting board because we didn't have any there. Um, and obviously we misjudged it because you can see it. So I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do about that. We might leave it until after Christmas because priorities, I wanna be decorating Christmas rather than re-sanding the floor. And then the last thing which we partly showed you but we haven't showed you the finished article is the shed. The shed has been the bane of my life this October because it was one of those jobs that I'm not sure I quite explained. Um, we just wanted to get it temporarily watertight to put some things in there and it ended up being a big project. So what happened is, um, you'll have seen earlier on in the video that we have two kind of brick buildings down there. One of them had a wood roof on already and we we're thinking that we'd just secure that, get our stuff in and then we'd like slowly do the other side of the roof to make it a little bit bigger. What actually happened is we got in there, uh, we took everything out and then we got up on the roof and as we kind of inspected, it was worse than we thought. So a lot of the wood was rotten and we thought that we may just be able to take off some parts, but it just kept kind of going across the roof and we ended up with pretty much no roof. So it all came off. What they'd done is they'd just, obviously as they'd had leaks at the previous owners throughout the years, they just piled on top of it rather than redoing it. So there was so much stuff so a lot of our skip also got filled with the shed and it just <laughs> i can't tell you how long it took to finish off and um, build the roofing on the shed it was quite a project um, it took up because ollie this month had a week off and then we obviously had weekends and evenings but the week off was majority of me taken up by the shed Consequently, that's put us a long way behind on the dining room. But anyway, let's go and see the shed and let's all say in the comments how great it is because I'm not feeling that happy that for October I got a shed. But anyway, here we go. I mean, it doesn't even particularly look like much, but it is so much better than before. So we have started putting a lot of stuff from our dining room in here, which is just amazing it's really nice and light in here as well which makes a big difference from what it was and i think i pretty much showed you guys all of this we didn't get around to painting this area unfortunately but this also has a roof on now so it's all watertight and secure and ready for the winter so obviously next spring uh, we will come back out here move everything out probably paint this white and we've still got some things from the dining room to come down here but it just shows you how much painting at white makes a big difference we also didn't get around to doing the floor um just simply didn't have time so that's going to be in a deep gray which again i think we'll do next spring 
because there's nothing festive about being in a shed painting in November. And that was October. Please give it a like if you liked it and subscribe because it really helps me make more videos like this. And I will see you guys next month.